Welcome back folks to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for the Nintendo DS. I'm Samurai TX and the last time we left off, well, um, we did um, finally get some light shedded on the SL9 incident and we finally learned more about Lana's past because she was a detective um, and partners with Chief Gant. So, um, seems with that being said, the crime scene we are going to go to now is the um, Chief's office because that's where it all happened, you know, the, the Joe Dark killings. So let's go to the Criminal Affairs Department. February 24th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. I don't see Detective Gumshoe anywhere. Things seem kind of quiet around here today. You're right. The head of department seems the same, though. Why don't we go and look for some other people to talk to? Right. We can come back here later. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the police department. February 24th, police department entrance. Probably gumshoes around here somewhere. Or not. Howdy, Barambina. Oh, Mr. Marshall. I never thought things turned up the way I went a bit. I never thought things turned up this way when I woke up this morning. We said I said I. You never know where life will lead you, eh, Bambina? I should have known my luck had run out all bully dried up this morning. Billy? Must be his pet cactus. Say, where are you headed? Just over at the prosecutor's office for a little interrogation. It's a voluntary appearance. But we all know I won't be coming back. Sorry, but can't go in the evidence room today, partner. But Mr. Marshall, why did you do it? Why do prospectors head west? If, if ever there was a case I needed to know the truth about, it was that one. Before you turned yourself in, Mr. Marshall, would you mind telling us what exactly happened? Huh. Looks like I won't be getting any steak lunch today. Alright. Dark trial. Something was fishy about that trial from the beginning. It wasn't just me either. All the detectives thought so too. What do you mean, fishy? Some of the facts reported were inconsistent with the evidence we found. For example, the murder weapon. The murder weapon? You mean that switchblade knife with the broken tip? That was Joe Darks, alright. But in the initial autopsy report, a question was raised. A question? The blade of the knife was not a perfect match with the wound the victim sustained. What does that mean? It means there was a good chance that knife was not the murder weapon. Huh? However, in the, in the report that was finally submitted, that possibility had been erased. Could the facts have been concealed with forged evidence? That case left behind scars on all of us. The scars that the SO9 incident left behind? Prosecutor Marshall. I got the looks, but he got the brains. He's the one of the best prosecutors around. I had just made detective when he went down. It was our first case to take together. How old was he? Your brother? He was 27 at the time. He was awarded the highest honor that very day. The highest honor? You don't mean... King of Prosecutors. Not that again. What are, you, what are you looking at me like that for? That's an honor for a prosecutor. Mr. Marshall must really have been close to his brother. The day the SO9 incident took place, that wasn't the same day as... That's right. It was the, it was the day of the evidence transfer. Huh? Interesting. It was drizzling that morning, and by nightfall there was thunder. I can't believe three years have gone by already. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Apparently someone tried to stop you. Detective Goodman was murdered. 
and the evidence locker was empty. Let's go us. There was something going on behind the scenes on that case. Well, I'll do that later. Every detective involved in that investigation, save one, was Takira. Miss Star was fired and I was demoted and boxed away in the tiny room. What about Detective Goodman? If they did something to him, the commissioners would get suspicious. No, they were careful enough not to be obvious. Hey. Who are you talking about? Don't get upset, Bombina. I mean, Dame Green and Larner Sky. Chief Detective Green, Chief Detective Dame Green, and his second in command, Larner Sky. My cowboy voice is pretty crappy, but I'll try. I'm trying to mix cowboy with redneck, because some rednecks can be cowboys. But I'm not even sure if the marshal's a um, redneck. There wasn't a person on the force who hadn't heard of that duo. Their, that case was the biggest stab in their both their careers. After, after the case ended, Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office, right? Yeah. Dave Gunn, the new chief of police, arranged that to happen. She's never been the same since she's left. Huh? Everyone knew her said so. Chief Prosecutor Sky was totally different when she was a detective. Now that he mentions it, Emma said something like that too. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Biomina, but her secret is too well guarded. I never found out. Lana's secret. It all started two years ago. So there you have it. That's my story. Did you enjoy it, partner? It was certainly enlightening. There's one thing for sure I found out in court today. That boy Edgeworth isn't my enemy. He was the one who used falsified evidence to get a guilty verdict. But someone else was the one who gave him that evidence and planned everything. That someone is Dame Gain. Don't believe me? Well, I don't blame you. I won't be a patrolman after today. And he spat out at it? Too bad I won't be around to work with you. When you become a real scientific investigator. Adios, man, Mina. Oh, man. I think this is the last time we'll see Jake Marshall. Kind of sad, because I like Jake Marshall, and I liked his theme. His theme was catchy. You know? I could monologue. I literally could monologue with his theme, you know? Right, let's go back to the Criminal Affairs Department. February 24th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. This place is always pretty empty, but today is de it's deserted. That must mean everyone's busy solving crimes. Oh, uh, if you're looking for the others, there are in the conference room. Uh, thanks. Wow, he actually talked to us. With the chief prosecutor saying what she did about, and the decision about what to do about Mr. Edgeworth, not to mention our statement to the media at tomorrow's trial. There's more chaos going than Thanksgiving and Christmas put together. I think festive is the word usually used for those. Um, sir, we'd like to have a look around Chief Gant's office. Just head across to the hall to the other building and take the elevator to the top floor. Really? You mean it's okay for us to go there? I mean, we aren't police officers or anything. Hey, you're right. You can't go in there. It's off limits. Now I see where Detective Gumshoe gets his tet unique charm. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head to the Chief's office. All right, we're gonna uh, disobey. We're gonna disobey the um, chief and go to the chief, uh, Chief Gant's office. February twenty fourth, Police Department, Chief's office. All right. Wow. Wow! Look at that organ, dude. That is expensive. I wonder how they got that in here. Damn! What an expensive piece of equipment that is. And this music just kicked in as soon as we stared at the organ. Oh, where am I? In the chief's office, silly. At least that's what it said on the door. 
Check out that pipe organ. It's real, isn't it? Hey, I used to take organ lessons in kindergarten. They used to call me Little Miss Buck. Alright, let's give it a try. I thought I was a genius until they tried teaching me. <laughs> okay, that was a bit <laughs> lightning with the music. I never could remember where the sea was. Hmm? Uh oh. Uh oh. Seems playing the organ has alerted this guy. And the music has kicked in once again. Oh, it's you two! Chief Gant! He put that paper he was reading on his desk. So, Mr. Wright, have you been swimming lately? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been kind of busy lately. I can appreciate that. I've had my hands full too, with Mr. Marshall's misconduct and Lana's provocative statement. Provocative statement? Oh, you mean about the forged evidence? Two years have passed since that incident. Why, how time flies. Yeah, time does fly, you know. It really does. See that picture on the wall over there? Yes. Oh. That's the picture of Lana, Neil, and me. Yes, indeed. So this is Mr. Marshall's brother, Pro Prosecutor Neil Marshall. We took it to commemorative... We took it to commemorate our work together! Hmm? Something's not right with this picture. Wow. Well, that, the, look at that trophy. The trophy's got some sort of weapon to it. I can't quite seem to put my finger on it, though. The only thing I can seem to put my um, finger on is just this trope. This, this, um... You know how Edger have got his trophy without this little thing? This little... Looks like a looks like a little uh, dagger or something. That's not an Edgeworth trophy. I'm gonna look at the evidence record right now just to prove that point. Because yeah, that's that's one thing I've noticed. Uh, what's with the awkward silence? Okay, let's look at the thing. See, look at Edgeworth's trophy. That 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 the little dagger, green dagger thing's not there. Anyway, I'd like to reminisce. Uh, anyway, I'd like to reminisce all day, but there are matters that need my attention. I'm going to lock up here, so let's go out together. Oh, but this office—it was a crime scene two years ago, wasn't it? That case has long since been over. There's no need to investigate it any more. All the same, we'd still like to have a look around. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said there's no need to investigate it anymore. Oh boy, his tone changed. You know, he was all happy and then he opened his eyes and just stared at us and said like, You know what, get the hell out of here. You don't hear me once, I, I don't need to repeat myself. Get the out of here. Huh? Now hurry up and get out. I have a meeting to attend. Wow, he kicked us out, literally. We're not welcome in here, apparently. Looks like we are welcome. It seems that case isn't over with yet, after all. What do you mean? Chief Gant denied our request to search the crime scene. That means there must be a reason he doesn't want us looking around in there. You mean like a clue? There's got to be a way we can get inside the Chief's office. Right. We're gonna investigate in the next video. Wait. Actually, you know what? Let's look around. Um. I guess we can go to the criminal affairs again. February 24th, police department, criminal affairs. We keep going in here so, because we want to check out um, that office, so we might as well go back in here. Hey, pal! Detective Gumshoe, were you in the meeting? I was, uh, just taking a breather. My feet hurt. From sitting so long in the meeting? Actually... I had to serve everyone coffee. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe's still out of the loop. Say, have you have you, have you seen Mr. Edgeworth? Edgeworth? No. Why do you even ask? He's on the fire from the police department and the prosecutor's office. 
It's almost like the battles between you two and Koi. That sounds serious. Is it because of what my sister said? That's basically what it all boils down to. That falsify evidence two years ago. Now Mr. Andrew has the whole world after his blood. Yikes. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to talk to Detective Gumshoe in the next video. So, when we come back, folks, we will talk to Detective Gumshoe. Until then, until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.